Hello everyone, right here I have a 2016 Suzuki Grand Vitara 2.4 Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The Grand Pitara 2.4 does come standard with the Suzuki's version of the Smart Keyless Entry and Start System. So, just have a key for on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. Press this black button to lock the car. And to unlock the car, just press the black button once more. An electric crank and pinion power steering system is what the third generation Grand Vitara uses. A lot of lap steering wheel with silver accents on either side of the spokes are fitted on this 2.4 variant. No matter you choose the 2 liter or the 2.4 liter petrol engine, Buyers can choose between a 5-speed manual like this car has or a 4-speed automatic transmission on the 3rd generation Grand Vitara in Indonesia. To engage reverse for a manual transmission, push the gear lever all the way to the right and back. Also, the base of the gear lever is covered in leather as well. Alright, let's open up the bonnet and let's take a look at the exterior. Two airbags and the lock braking system, electronic force distribution, an alarm system, an immobilizer, and isofix short seat anchor points for auto two rear seats are standard safety features of this Grand Vitara 2.4. 18 inch 10 spoke alloy rims are fitted on this Grand Vitara 2.4. These rims are wrapped in Dunlop SP Sport 01 22560 R18 tires. For the brakes, the front gets penetrated discs, where the wheel gets solid discs. MacPherson struts and a multi link setup make up the front and wheel suspension, respectively. The Suzuki Vitara, also known as the Suzuki Escudo in Japan and a number of other markets, is a compact SUV produced by Japanese manufacturer Suzuki since 1988 and it slots above the Suzuki Jimny. The second and third generation models were known as the Suzuki Grand Vitara before it is replaced by the Vitara nameplate in fourth generation. Since 1988, four generations has been produced so far with the latest generation, hot name RY, was unveiled at the 2014 Paris Motor Show for the 2015 model year while the facelifted one was unveiled in 2018 for the 2019 model year at the same place. This Vitara on this video is the third generation one, also known as the JT codename, and it is sold between 2005 until 2015. Under the bonnet of this Grand Vitara is J24B, 2.4 liter, duo overheat cam, 16 valve, naturally aspirated inline 4 petrol engine with variable valve timing. This engine produces 166 horsepower and 221 Nm of torque. This car can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 12 seconds and reach the top speed of 170 km per hour. 55 liters is the fuel tank size and the combined fuel consumption of this Grand Vitara 2.4 petrol manual is 9.4 liters per 100 km. The Grand Vitara is a rear-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of this Grand Vitara 2.4 includes Xenon Pejeta headlights, front fork lights, LED indicators on the side mirrors, body color door handles and side mirrors, silver roof rails, 
and a spare tire attached to the wheel tailgate with the covers built in with Suzuki leathering on it. The front door trim is wrapped in soft touch plastic right above, fabric in the middle, leatherette on the armrest, and a hot plastic around the storage compartment with silver accents. You do get speaker down there, together with the bottle holder and some storage. Right up here, you have some mirror controls, window controls, all the windows of this Grand Vitara is pre-powered. Whether the west side window, they get fully automatic in both directions. Window lock and the central locking buttons. This Grand Vitara just get off the hidden side mirrors. Visible air vents for the driver's side. One fork light switch down below. When Pitara formats is on. Put this level to release the fifth flap. And the double seat of this Grand Pitara 2.4 this get four manual adjustments. This lever controls the seat back, this lever controls the seat height, and this bar down here controls the seat position. Oh, by the way, the seats themselves is wrapped in black cloth. Alright, so let's take a look at the interior. The Grand Vitara 2.4 does come standard with the single zone automatic climb control system with oil controls located right here. You do have fan speed in the right together with the front defrost and the different modes. Table controls to the left with automatic off button. And down here, you have a recirculation and outside air, rear defrost, and the air conditioning at the berth. This Grand Vitara has been fitted with the integrated head unit with 7-inch color touchscreen display, various media connectivity options, navigation, and 7 speakers for the sound system. You do have display here, your CD player at the birth, it is MPG compatible. To the left, you do have volume and power knob, SD card slot for music, videos, or whatever you want. EJ button for the CD player, C track buttons, your mute button, and to the right, you do have tuning knock, SD card slot for navigation, your DVD buttons, your radio. Radio, it goes to the FMA menus. Under those menus, you can look at your list of available radio sensors in the area, perform manual tuning search, so on and so forth. You do have nav button, it goes to the navigation or map menus, any menu button. The dashboard itself is wrapped in hard touch plastic with silver accents in the middle of the dashboard. Central locking. On the steering wheel, the last spoke causes your audio controls. You do have mute button, your different mode selection buttons, volume, and switch track buttons. The last stock causes your wiper controls. And in the right stall causes your light and indicated controls. The steering wheel of this Grand Vitara is still only you adjusted by this lever right down here. You do have speaker at the birth. Down below, you do have a bit of storage. Two power outlets right between of the gear lever.
two copper dudes right next to the parking brake. Adjustable center armrests. Which storage underneath it? Manual dimming, review mirror, interior lights at the berth, sunglass holder, and a driver side sun visor. Let's get the vanity mirror and a cut holder too. All right, let's check out the rear seats. The rear door team also carried over from the front doors, including fabric in the middle, leather red on the armrest, and silver accents. You do get your window control up there, and down below, you do have speaker and middle storage. The rear seats of this Grand Vitara 2.4 do fold down, they split 60-40 when folding, and to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down, and then just look at the lever right either side of the headrest, pull it, and flip the seat back down. Unfortunately, the rear seats do not fall flat into the boot. You can move the seat belt all of the way if you do not want the seat belt obstructing you. Oh, you can also adjust it of the angle of the seat back better the same level on this Grand Vitara 2.4 so you can have more laid back or more upright depending on what you prefer. I did set the double seat to be positioned that I will feel comfortable in. My height is 167 centimeters. I do get quite a bit of room to stretch up my feet underneath the double seat. I do get about too much leg room. As for head room, it's really a lot. Which is actually a little bit spacious back here on the Grand Vitara, but not as spacious compared to the Honda CRV that I recently reviewed. You do get storage pockets in the front seat back. Right down here. You do have a cup holders. Rear center armrests. You do get good pendles on the rear ceiling with hooks on either sides. We enjoy your light side above. The unique thing about third generation Vitara is using the new body construction with the built-in ladder frame to improve the steepness and ground clearance while also reducing the floor height and also the engine and the transmission are longitudinally mounted, unlike the front wheel drive based compact SUVs on its class. Wood space on the third generation Vitara is 490 liters with the rear seats in place and 1342 liters with the rear seats folded and cargo cover removed. Under the boot floor, you can find some storage. Well, on both sides of the boot, there are hooks. Well, to the right of the boot, there is more storage. To the left of the boot, you can find the power outlet and lights which you can turn on or off.
I don't forget to mention it, you do have a Grand Vita for Mask for the Wii as well. You do get adjustable headrests, front, and rear. And also, the seat belt had adjusters for the front row seats. You do get speaker down there, together with the motor holder, some storage, and even the control is left up there. The front passenger seat of this Grand Vitara 2.4 does get full manual adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side, just that on this side will result on the height adjustment. Lockable glove box. It is really big on the Grand Vitara. Inside of the glove box, you have USB and the iPod port. Adjustable air vents for the front passenger side as well. Good handles in the front passenger. And a front passenger sun visor does get the venti mirror as well. And a cut holder too. Alright everyone, I hope you guys enjoy for the full vehicle tour of 2016, Suzuki Grand Vitara 2.4. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to this channel with the notifications turned on so you don't miss the next uploaded videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care everyone!